Goldfields is a global gold company headquartered in Johannesburg. We have operations in South Africa, West Africa in Ghana, South America in Peru, and in Western Australia. We produce around 2.2 million ounces a year. We've just released our second quarter results. Our production uh, in this particular quarter reflects the 2.2 million ounces. We had 548,000 ounces for the quarter. Our all-in costs were at $1,050 per ounce. And the key deliverable that we set out to achieve two years ago was to make sure that gold fields in a declining gold price scenario could be cash positive. That has entailed a significant amount of restructuring across the group. We've pulled back on our growth expenditure, particularly Greenfields exploration. We have examined every single asset and asked ourselves whether we're mining ounces for ounces sake or whether those ounces are making a margin. And as a consequence, we've taken what we believe to be a bold step to move away from ounce of production targets to cash flow targets. So at the beginning of the year, I set a target for us in 2014 at a gold price of $1,300 an ounce to achieve a 15% cash flow margin. That is after all the bills have been paid. That includes all taxes, all royalties, and all capital expenditure, irrespective of whether it's growth or sustaining. In quarter one, we achieved 13% free cash flow margin and generated $54 million of cash. In quarter two, we've generated an 18% free cash flow margin, thus exceeding our target that we set out, and have increased our cash generation to $66 million. So over the first six months of this year, the strategy is starting to work. As a consequence, we're able to improve our earnings, and our earnings in this particular quarter are up to $25 million, from $21 million the previous quarter. These are what we call normalized earnings, when we strip out the non-recurring items. And as a consequence, we've paid a dividend for the half year of 20 cents. Now, in addition to that, we've indicated that if we make the earnings in the future, we will reward our shareholders with dividends. So a dividend policy that's been approved by our board and has been applied uniformly over the last couple of years is a dividend payout ratio of between 25 and 35% of normalized earnings. And so in this particular quarter, we've honored that commitment and the dividend payout we made represents around 32% of our normalized earnings. So for those of you who do believe in the future of the gold market as I do, you can see that the leverage exists and you can also see that with potentially higher gold prices we'll make more earnings and we'll reward our shareholders. In addition, in the six month to date, we've paid down $100 million of debt. The company's balance sheet is very solvent we have a very good liquidity profile and we're well within our financial covenants and we anticipate over the balance of the year that we'll continue to reduce our debt and ultimately we wouldn't want our debt levels to be more than around one to one in terms of debt to EBITDA ratios. Currently we're about 1.47 and at the beginning of the year we were about 1.65 so we are moving in the right direction and Goldfields is well set up that if gold prices decline from here we will be able to break even, even if gold prices go down to $1,000 per ounce. We won't lose money at that level, we won't make money either, but we'll continue to retain the optionality to the future. And I do believe, with the gold price currently being sizably below the long-term cost of replacement of an ounce of gold, then sooner or later supply demand fundamentals must come into play and the gold price will return to levels we've seen previously. However. We must be patient. I think we're going to have a tough 2013. But I would say by the end of next year, we should be in much better shape in terms of the gold fundamentals for the market. So for those who are prepared to be patient, I think the rewards will be there.